Hi everyone, my name is Nabila and I am from Yunoya. In conjunction with World Suicide Prevention Day, which will happen this Friday on 10 September, we'll be having a series of interviews where we'll be talking about a condition called suicide. We often hear news about suicide and along with it comes a lot of myths. So with me today, Roxas Slim. He is a clinical psychologist from Yunoya where he will share his insights on all those myths that we're going to share today. So Roxas, hi, how are you? Hi, Nabila. I'm good. How are you? Good. So the first myth is talking and asking about suicide will plant the idea in the individual's head. Mm, yep. I think this is one of the most popular myths ever. Um, oftentimes, people will say that, oh, let's not talk about suicide to a person who may be displaying some suicidal tendencies because we may implant more you know, uh, suicidal ideas or even intentions. However... Uh, many research has shown and the reality is that talking about suicide does not further create or implant any further suicidal thoughts. In fact, it is highly encouraged to talk about suicide to someone who you may suspect to be uh, having suicidal ideations because it shows that you care for the person. It shows that you know, you're willing to listen to what the person is uh, going through. And uh, this will create a safe platform for them to share their feelings and their thoughts. So in actual reality, it's actually the total opposite. Talking about suicide is actually highly encouraged to do so. All right. The second myth is there are talkers and there are doers when it comes to suicide. Is that true? Mm. Yeah, oftentimes people do ask this question, whether that, you know, this person is just going to talk about it. He's not actually going to do it. However, what we found was that most people who have actually already committed suicide have in the past tried to communicate in a certain way or a certain extent. So someone who talks about suicide actually gives family, friends, or even healthcare provider an opportunity to intervene before an actual suicidal behavior or attempt occur. Now, the third myth is once someone is suicidal, he or she will always remain suicidal. Is that true? Hmm. Most suicidal ideas are associated with the presence of other underlying treatable disorder. So providing a safe environment is important and acute risk for suicide is oftentimes what we say time limited. So there's this one period of time uh, where the suicidal risk is exceptionally high. So if you can actually help the person to survive that period of time, the immediate crisis, you have gone a long way to promote a positive outcome. So there is actually uh, things that you can do. Continue with the fourth myth. He or she will not kill themselves since they have made vacation plans with their family or friends. Is that true? Mm. The actual reality is that suicidal intents oftentimes they override any rational thinking. So we may see that, oh, this person has made vacation plans, this person has young children at home, or has a lovable family or relationship, he or she would not commit suicide. However, like what I mentioned earlier in the previous myth, uh, suicidal risk is exceptionally high uh, during the crisis period. So actually during the crisis period is oftentimes where our rational thinking is oftentimes uh, overrided. So hence, it's very important to help uh, these individuals to get off this uh, crisis period. So now with the last myth that I would like to ask you is, Multiple failed suicidal attempts in the past may indicate one is at low risk of actually dying of suicide. Is that true? Yeah, this myth is oftentimes asked a lot or so. Um, the actual reality is that no, it's not true. In fact, multiple prior suicidal attempts actually is one of the key indicators uh, which indicates an increased likelihood of eventually dying by suicide. So, if we know someone who has, who has prior histories of uh, suicidal attempts, uh, this person would be classified as a uh, very high risk. All right. Thank you, Roxas, for sharing. I believe that all of us learn a lot about the myths of suicide and we have better insight and perspective on it. Um, before we end, do you have any final words you want to share with others, with all of us, uh, regarding this topic? Mm. I would like to just uh, let everybody know that it's okay to not be okay and you don't have to face this struggle alone. 
help is available and do consider to reach out to people who you trust. And to the general public, suicide and mental issues are real. Let's all take a step in promoting mental well-being together and look out for each other. Thank you. All right. Once again, thank you, Roxas. And to all of you who's watching, if you find this video helpful, do share with others. And don't forget to leave us a like and also comment or any feedback you can leave in the comment box below. We love to hear it from you. So thank you everyone and see you in the next video.